Good morning, guys. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. There's currently an earthquake swarm occurring there at Yellowstone. USGS hasn't reported any earthquakes so far since yesterday. Let me show you. I took a wide view because sometimes there's uh, earthquakes along the Sawtooth Fault Zone there along the Snake River Plateau. But here is the three earthquakes. Oh, they do have one for today. Okay, they're catching up. They got a 2.3 at 8.36. And not as slow today as they normally are. Let's see where that's at. Yellowstone Lake. Okay. 1336 universal time 1.3 miles in depth or 2.0 kilometers in depth it's currently 9 45 a.m as i'm making this video here's location yeah by little west thumb okay it takes a while to do a video and got to do the editing and add different things um, save the video, upload the video, wait for YouTube to, uh, yeah, um, do all their processing. And it's going to be a busy day. Today um, is the peak of a meteor shower from Halley's Comet. I believe the last time it went by or the debris went by for this uh, meteor shower was 36 years ago. And tonight's supposed to be the peak which might make it hard to see because we got a full moon, which they call a flower moon. I downloaded the data from four different monitors. Here we have the western boundary. This here is Maple Creek, Little West Thumb, and the borehole for Yellowstone Lake, which is up by the fishing bridge, which is borehole 208. Yeah, I was going to start with this one, um, but seeing how they actually posted the other one, we'll go to that. All right, this here is the monitor for Little West Thumb. You can see we got an earthquake swarm going on. But they only chose to report one. Try and find it. Let's see. Where is it at? All right, right there. Okay. Yeah, look at the heat coming up. Oh, my goodness. And they're saying that that is shallow. You can see the heated water, lots of gases. Yeah, magma. Yeah, only reported one. Let me bring it down so those of you that have larger screens might be watching this on your Fire TV. Uh, 2.48. Let's look at the seismic signature okay we'll make this bigger yeah we got volcanic tremors and harmonic tremors and sharpened points means the fault line is probably opening up look at that you might hear laundry going in the background with all the world events going on i'm um, getting ready <laughs> for a yeah possible war retaliation from russia uh, normally what they do is equal amount of retaliation and so seeing how they sent the drone or somebody sent the drone uh, Russia believes that it was Ukraine or the US to the Kremlin they'll do hopefully only equal amount of retaliation which means they'll probably target uh, Zelensky's uh, headquarters no one has taken credit for the uh, two drone attacks on the Kremlin but anyways okay so let's take a look at these earthquakes like I said there's quite a few of them here but they're only reporting one and we'll bring it over and um, show you what's been going on for probably oh an hour and a half as I'm making this video it's gonna go small on me okay close that out make it bigger okay there we go 
1339. Yeah, you can see them all. Now you know that there is one large crack at the bottom of Yellowstone Lake. Over there by uh, Little West Thumb, there is another crack. And I lost a lot of the data that I had put on um, Google Earth, but I remember what I had. So I'll try and go through and show you here after we look at all these earthquakes. Yeah. Oh, went small again. Let's look at the spectrogram. Okay. Yeah, lots of heat. Lots of heat coming up there. Bring it across, and then it settled down a little bit. There's a little one there, and then it kicked in again. Yeah, I wonder what they're thinking there at Yellowstone, or if they're just being nonchalant about it. It's like, oh, this stuff happens all the time. Yeah, I don't know. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Okay, all right, you can see the fault lines through here. And there is another fault line. You can kind of see it. Another fault line that runs all the way through West Thumb. And then we got these areas where hydrothermal eruptions occurred and created these bodies of water. Let's see, I don't have names. Um, one of the things that we need to watch for, hopefully, we'll get um, some kind of report from Boots on the Ground that might be visiting there at Yellowstone, um, is if there's hydrothermal eruptions, much like what created this little area here. Then, let's see, over here, that would be a very good indication that things are getting close to erupting. Mary Bay was a hydrothermal eruption. So was this area here. And this area here. I think the one over here is called Duck. Duck something. You can see another hydrothermal eruption. I think this is called Duck. Duck Pond or I could be wrong. I got to go back through and relabel everything. There, okay, Duck Lake. It shows it up on uh, USGS webpage. And let's go up to the earthquake. So they're saying uh, magnitude 2.3, but I got, um, yeah, much larger. Probably closer to a 2.5. Let me make western boundary larger. Okay. Maybe the only reason they only reported one was because it showed up as a uh, earthquake there at western boundary. I was going to start with this earthquake right here. Uh, let's see. At 554 Universal. That would have been at 1254 AM local time. Okay, there it is at Maple Creek. A uh, little west thumb. And the borehole for Yellowstone Lake. Let's go to the spectrogram. Yeah, they're not reporting it. Look at this at the western boundary. Yeah, the pockets of melt. Pockets of melt, as many of you know, and maybe the new ones don't know, there is pockets of melt only about 600 feet under the ground. Um, not all rock melts at the same temperature. So, yeah, this shows the different layers and pockets of melt. Again, this is the western boundary. And we'll make that smaller. Take a look at what's going on at Maple Creek. You see all the heat that came up. Yeah, we got more earthquakes here. And Little West Thumb, we'll make that one bigger. And then we'll go to the bore hole. Let's look at the spectrogram. Okay. 
looks like the best signature could be Maple Creek, which would be the Madison River area. All right, let's go to the seismic signature. Yeah, see, that is definitely volcanic tremors. And you can see it rattled for quite a while. Yeah. That comes in, let me bring it down, as a magnitude 3.33. I cut it off just before the uh, second little quake, which is right in there. I cut it off. Let me, yeah, see, I cut it off before that. But it comes in as a magnitude 3.33. Again, not being reported. And again, that would have been at 12.54 a.m. today. All right, and then we got another one, which is right there. Um, 22.41 Universal. They are reporting that one. They're saying it's a magnitude 1.7. That was yesterday. That would have been at 5.41 p.m. yesterday. But I come up with a magnitude 2.06. And I'll bring it down for you. You can see 2.06. Now here at Maple Creek, which is the Madison River area, we got several that I might be able to pick out. Um, you can see this is harmonic tremors. And this is at 1310, which would have been at 810 a.m. there. Yeah, it rattled for quite a while. Let's go to the seismic signature. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can... Actually, it was volcanic tremors. I made it bigger. So, let's see what the magnitude was. I come up with a magnitude 2.81. A lot of twos. Remember, for those of you who've been here for a while with me, will remember when they said they start having magnitude twos that they would be concerned. I ended it right there. Okay, then the next larger one in red. Okay, I already did that one. Then we got another one right here. Yeah, slow moving tremor. And then that one right there. Let's try and make it bigger. Okay, yeah, that's fault movement. Let's see, what would the magnitude be? I get a magnitude 2.32. And then we got all kinds of little ones too. Let's check out another monitor. Again, this is Maple Creek, which would be the Madison River area. Before I do that, I want to go through here because this is where the blobs of magma, probably more like a, a fault zone opening up, allowing uh, yeah, the water, the heat, possibly magma to rise up we got a couple marked in red there got one there do i have the right line i don't know yeah, you can see the line of mail here okay try and find it let's go to the signature and we'll close that out it looks like right there yeah okay there's the one there's the other Go back to the signature. Yeah. Yeah, fault movement. Probably more likely that, you know, the ground is getting really brittle there. And just popping like glass. And as the uh, pressure increases. Let's see, we got another one here at Maple Creek. Maybe I should do that one. 1830, this would have been yesterday. That's up by Hedge and Lake. They're saying it's a magnitude 0 0.9. And of course, you know it's not. It's a 1.98. Let's see. If I wanted to shorten it really short, I'll go there. Okay. And then it would come in as a magnitude 1.81. Yeah. But, yeah, it actually should end right there. Okay. We'll go back to that. Go back to that, and it comes in as a 1.98. Yeah, yeah, not a 0 0.9. So there's all four monitors. We'll go to the borehole at 
the fishing bridge and you can see we got all kinds of stuff going on here yeah oh my goodness yeah the line of melt we got two lines of melt we got several earthquakes let's see where are they at right there yeah this is close to where that crack is for Yellowstone Lake and this is what it was showing when I pulled the files let's go to the seismic signature okay let's take a look at what's doing now all right stream view yeah see the western boundary uh, that's over by the western entrance has been showing a lot of activity and I think there's an area there where dike intrusion is or a crack in the ground and the magma's trying to come up but yeah <laughs> you can see definitely an earthquake swarm would you believe it's snowing there talking about a change in weather at least i hope that's snow and not ash <laughs> no that's snow yeah what a quick change in weather they're currently looking at Old Faithful and there's actually people there let me pull it down yeah yeah look at that yeah it's supposed to cool off here where I'm at tomorrow um, I was hoping it was going to be a little bit cooler but right now we got those two um, storms whatever north or east of me and west of me that is like a trough um, many of you might have seen it but this trough is currently holding the weather um yeah anyways yeah so what are your thoughts please put your comments down below please subscribe please share my videos and as always be prepared for any type of disaster like i said there's so much going on in the world and i'll talk to you later God bless you. Bye.